And we back. We're taking a look at Michael Gallup today versus the Detroit Lions. I really like it when Amari Cooper can, um, you know, get the best cover guy when he can get the uh, defense leaning towards his way on, on coverages like that. So Michael Gallup gets to beat up on civilians one-on-one. I love that concept, man. Um, let's take a look at Michael Gallup. He is up top. Now, I do think Michael Gallup is capable of beating good corners. I just think it's pretty early in Mike's, uh, Mike's, uh, you know, football career or whatever. But um, Michael Gallup is also a nuanced raw runner, like Amari Cooper. He's not as smooth, but uh, he is a little more angry in his breaks, and um, I kind of like that. And you pair that on top of his yak ability. I think you got a pretty good recipe there. First things first, when 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 Gallup comes off the line of scrimmage, you see hands, man. You see fighting with his hands. I jumped ahead of myself. Pardon me. He's going to get a little bit of a step to the uh, to the inside there. See that? He's just going to get a little bit of a little bit of a head fake to the inside just to lead us back outside. We're going to fight with those hands. Get off of me, kid. You must be sick. I don't want your germs on me. Get, get, get off of me, right? Just to get at the top of this route. Watch how he breaks down, man. Watch how low he gets at the top of this route right here. Man, look at him. Ah, break down like that, and he comes back all violent, comes back ferocious, comes back angry. And what that's going to do is that's going to really create the separation that he needs. And I've been praising Dak Prescott on film says it ain't got nothing to do with Dak, but Look at Dak throwing the ball with anticipation. Ball out now. <laughs> Gallup just now turning around, getting that timing and everything going. Um, fantastic combination, these two guys here. And here's another example of Michael Gallup being a nuanced route runner, right, with his angry breaks, okay? Uh, Cooper's more smooth, but, you know, Gallup is an angry breaker out of his routes. Everybody in the chat box right now say angry breaks. Michael Gallup is at the top of your screen. Let's just take a look at him, man. Watch how he breaks out of his routes all angry. Up, inside, ah, look at that. Mm. And it takes the uh, it takes the uh, cornerback on a bit of a ride here, right? Now, first of this is my first problem. First of all, the cornerback is scared to death of Michael Gallup. He's facing the end zone. The cornerback's hip is facing the end zone, so he don't stand a chance right here. Gallup is open right now because the cornerback want to be in a foot race all the way to where you going, man? Why are you facing that way? Gallup's behind you. You're not supposed to cover people from behind. To Turn around. What are you doing? I, I, I don't know. But um, Gallup is gonna Gallup is gonna get outside. And what I like about it, what ended up happening here with this cornerback's hips being facing um, the end zone or whatever, with Michael Gallup turning to the inside, just a light skinny turn to the inside, is gonna make this corner turn to the inside. But boy, when Gallup angry breaks, <laughs> that's where all your separation comes from, right? The ball's gonna get there and. You know he's gonna get two feet down, and um, he's gonna make it. Uh, he's gonna make it out of bounds real fast. Let's take a look at the cartel view to get a better look there. Look at all that separation. Pretty good catch on the back end for Michael Gallup. This is Michael Gallup's miracle catch, but I wanted to highlight a couple other things. Okay, Michael Gallup is up top here on the top of your screen. I just want to highlight a few other things in terms of technique, in terms of his deceptive speed, in terms of his concentration, right? Uh, we'll take a look at his circus catch and the circusness of it a little bit later. Plus, y'all y'all have seen the replays. Y'all have been on Twitter and things like that. You've seen it a couple hundred times, but you know I want to look at the football aspect of it, right? Um, because I want to take a look at how he starts, how he starts this thing off, man. Look at how he leaves the corner. First of all, the cornerbacks in man coverage, he's going to be shading the gallops inside, which gives me indication that it's man coverage, and he's walked down to other little clues like that. But man, Gallup going to hit you with a hard step outside. We're just talking about angry breaks. Look at this hard step Gallup, Gallup hits this dude with just to get back to the outside, right? Now, we like to talk about small nuances and, you know what I mean, techniques here. When Gallup goes from outside to inside, Watch him dip his right shoulder right here. Right, I'm gonna zoom in as much as I as much as I possibly can. Look at him dip that right shoulder in there. Right, if you're a cornerback and there's any chance of you getting hands on Gallup, Gallup is gonna take that away from him because he's dipping that shoulder. Right, he's giving you his back because you can't put your hands on my, on my back. That's a penalty, fam. Get, get your hands off me. Get you and your gloves off of me. Right, we're gonna dip that thing. Ah, right there and after that it turns it turns it turns to a foot race right and 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 Gallup isn't known as like a blazy guy but if he can technique his way into one step on you he's gonna stay a step and a half on you right um Prescott let's see did, did, did that hold it a bit 
Dak was reading the other side of the field, but he came back and found Gallup. And I like the fact that Dak is gangster enough to try these things. Now, Dak probably wouldn't even have thrown this ball um, um, uh, last year, but Dak was reading the left side of the field first, but he came back and he um, got it up to Gallup, and Gallup did circus things, right? And the cartel view gives us a better look. The cartel view gives us a better look. I would go to the broadcast view, but the broadcast view Illuminati wouldn't like that very much. Um, but we're just going to see it bounce up a little bit. And Mike is going to miss the first catch, but he's going to keep eyes on it. Catch it the second time. Repping time on the ground. Get back up. Flex. Young Michael Gallup. Flex. Talk. There you go. Paul Bunyan steps. Talk to him. Ah. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick. Plug that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the call. Like about Michael Gallup, he's at the bottom of your screen, not the very bottom. Like there's Tony in the slot, and then there's Michael Gallup right here. Um, something else I like about him too is man, like like being yak guy, being like super angry runny guy, being like, hey man, like if y'all gonna try to tackle me, y'all just gonna have to like take me with you, <laughs> like that guy. Take a look at your boy Michael Gallup right here, man. Simple crossing route, um, but uh, it's gonna develop, develop. Dak is gonna get the ball to him. Like I said, Gallup is just gonna carry people. He's gonna carry these people, children with him. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you, you, you just can't be tough running, man. Tough, angry running. And after a while, people not gonna want to tackle you, bro. Um, so I definitely think we should uh, take advantage of that aspect for us. If we're gonna be a physical team, we should take advantage of the notion that um, people are gonna, um, they're gonna be tired of getting hit by us while we're on offense. You know what I mean? Um, Michael Gallup. Let's see how he, how we, uh, how we set this up. He got some outside leverage from this cornerback right here, so that's okay. Um, and Gallup is going to set it up anyway. I'm sure when Gallup uh, uh, turns into a turns into a older receiver, he'll probably set this up a little bit less. But like I said, he's a young player. Give him a little time to time to navigate. What I do like is when he got up and he touched this contact right here. When the uh, when the uh, cornerback came into contact with Mike, Mike kind of shouldered him a little bit. Right, you can see Mike leaning into him a little bit, going towards Mike's left. Right, leaning into the corner. He only did that just so he can break off of him later. Right there. Look at the separation that he that he creates there just by two things, right? Just by leaning into the corner and just those hashtag angry breaks just to get back outside, man. And look at all that separation that he created just by being physical. You know what I mean? If 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 Cooper is the, you know, finesse super setup, agile, speedy, quickie guy. Michael Gallup is definitely um, super strong, angry, hoax smash. That's that's my lunch money right there in that bag right there. Let me take that from you, guy. You know what I mean? So I like the combination of guys that we have, and Michael Gallup will be even better next year. All right, let me show y'all the cartel view. We're going to break this thing off. Um, but anyway, um, yes, man, I hope we continue to – to run these uh, these uh, trends on the, on offense. I almost said defense. This is offense. What are you doing, Vach? Um, we are gonna need all these guys against um, you know Belichick and that defense. I ain't scared of Tom Brady. We're gonna beat the shit out of those guys. But uh, Belichick and his defense, we're definitely gonna need um, Gallup, Cobb. We're gonna need young you know Tony Zeke. We're gonna need everybody to step up. We're gonna need Dak Prescott to be the gangster. And if Dak pulls that game off, I think he's going to um, solidify himself as an MVP candidate and to get his monies all right um follow me on twitter v-o-c-h-l-o-m-b-a-r-d-i hit the notification bell and the subscribe button um i have a patreon.com slash vach lombardi every link you need is in the description y'all hold it down for the doski woski and the peace we all right peace after canceling my cable i saved twenty four hundred dollars this year by switching to beast tv through channels for cheap.com some people pay two hundred plus dollars a month. I paid one twenty a year, or you can go fifteen a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get twenty five hundred HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com. 
Sleepyhour.com where you can get a free seven day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it and come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com, hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it.